Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in the last video, uh, all we really did was we took care of a mid-course correction and then we time warped um, to where we're just like about a half of a day away from Mars. When I got to this point, I did a quick save and my plan now is to attempt to do an atmospheric braking maneuver to get captured by Mars. And if it goes wrong, which I... I, if I were a betting man, I would say it's going to go wrong because I haven't done that kind of thing in a long time. But maybe we'll get lucky or maybe, you know, maybe it'll be like riding a bike and I'll have no issue. I don't know. We'll see. But just to err on the side of caution, I did a quick save at this point so that if things do go wrong, we can pick up right here. In fact, what we can say, uh, we can say that the people on board the XR2 are currently getting ready to do a simulation. And, uh... And then that way, if it goes wrong, I can just say, well, the simulation failed, and then we're going to try it for real. All right, with all that said, let's go ahead and switch to the full screen. Let's unpause. And now Mars, uh, for atmospheric braking, we do need to be lower than this. So one of the first things we can do, Translation. can do a bit of an inward to bring our, our minimum altitude down. Probably you know, something like that. Can't say for cer for certain. I mean, I'm sh I imagine that's too low overall. But once we hit the atmosphere and the uh, the flight characteristics of the XR2 kick in, um, you know, our we'll we'll be able to change our minimum altitude just by flying through the atmosphere. Okay, so again, the fastest way to do atmospheric braking is inverted and nose deep down so that the entire backside of the of the ship is absorbing atmosphere it's also harder to do that but we're going to try the harder method the easier method is you know just either uh well, wings level inverted and then just fly around but it, it takes a really long time to bleed off all your velocity doing that so let's uh, bring over the joystick because we will be doing an atmospheric flight. And let's get closer to Mars and then we'll have to turn on the APU, close the radiator, and uh, stuff like that. So here we go pretty soon. So 4,000 seconds away, let's get closer. Let's not overshoot, that would be bad. And altitude coming down, 1,000 kilometers, 900, 54, okay. I'd say it's, uh, yeah, it's time to do, it's time to button down the ship. So control A to turn on the APU, close up the radiator, turn on surface controls uh, we'll leave rotation. rotation on for now be good to have that temperature display up I think I'd rather have surface up let's uh, roll over And we're going to need to have our APA set. This, I, I feel like this is going to fail. I just, I just don't remember this very well. But the idea is that we're going to enter the atmosphere something like this. We still have time, so I'll give you an external view of what that's going to look like. Um, so, we'll, and we'll actually we'll be, boy, that looks terrible. Why does that look so bad? Hmm. Um, but yeah, and we'll actually be even more over than that. Yeah, that'll basically be our position going into the atmosphere. And keeping that under control is going to be really challenging. In fact, I probably, come to think of it, I probably don't even need the joystick for what I'm about to do. I don't think I do. I think it's I think this is mostly done with just attitude control. So we're gonna set the AOA. Um, I don't know what I'm at at the moment. I should have done this sooner. I think I went negative actually. 
Oh my god. That's not doing what I want. And we're, we don't have a lot of time to figure this out. Okay, I think it's because my bank angle... Nope. I, I don't remember how to do anything. And I don't have a lot of time to figure this out. Uh, I... You know what, I'm not even going to do that because it's there's no time to figure it out. So we're going to take the... We're going to have to take the slow approach. Because I've only got a very, very little bit of time to figure out. So we're not going to do it. We're not going to do the faster approach. We're going to do the slower approach. And what I'll do if I have to is I will just do video editing, which I hate doing. I like to just record the videos. And upload them. I don't. I never video edit anything. But if this uh, if this works out, then let me throw out the air brake. Um, do we need to be inverted? I don't know. I don't remember anything. I didn't watch this far into my absolute beginner guide. Although I do actually remember uh, my very last absolute beginner guide I got two Mars but I never actually did this part of it although I think I did I think I did the braking maneuver let me bring up temperature display but I never finished the Mars landing I remember um, I always planned on it but it was that was the time I I put down the videos um, I, I continued recording videos after that but I never got back to the absolute beginner guide. And then school started and I just gave up on the whole thing. Alright, so... So my plan here is... Um, I'm... If, if I can get this atmospheric braking maneuver to work, even though I'm doing it the really, really slow way, I'm going to fly the entire thing, but if I have to, uh, m which I think it's going to, it takes quite a while, so I'll just get to some point and I will just uh, bring this video into an editor and just speed up this section whenever, uh, whenever I get to that point. But first I just want to make sure that this plan is even remotely valid. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Um... Pretty soon we can probably turn off RCS now. We'll just do surface control. Yeah, I have surface control. So, uh, what, what are we looking at here? We're looking at velocity. Okay, the velocity is coming down. And so we want to get as deep into the Martian atmosphere as we can, but not so deep that we burn up the vessel, obviously. We have the air brake deployed to create as much drag as we can. Um, so it looks like 35 kilometers is pretty safe. Oh, you know what I need to do though? I need to get my meters per second under control. And it might already be too late for that, I don't know. Let me actually pitch the vessel out into space. It might already be too late for that. 200 meters per second, 100. 150 might be okay. Velocity's coming down, temperature's going up, so I think we might actually be okay. Luckily I caught that, or else we probably would have dove so deep into the atmosphere that we would have fried. Alright, so with that idea, I'm going to go even deeper, because I want to get as much deceleration as I can. You know, I don't want to completely redline the XR2 because then that's so close. Uh, it's it's really easy to just go from things are okay to a complete failure. So I just, but I want to get down as deep as I can get away with. That way, I get as as much breaking out of the atmosphere as I can. 
and we, what we really what I really want to keep an eye on is my meters per second because if that gets really high and the temperature starts climbing really fast then then I can't recover but it looks like we're okay at a uh, you know current altitude just switch outside for just a second take a look What I could also be doing, okay, we're captured by Mars, so that part is at least a success. All right, let me tilt back out because temperature's increasing and meters per second is climbing. So actually, this, does, this doesn't take nearly as long as I thought it would, and so far anyway. Mach 23. The other thing I could be doing, um, I'm a bit too busy to worry about at the moment, but I could be trying to steer the vessel into plane with uh, APU pure 80%. with the target Mark base. 22. Cause we are super out of plane. So actually let me actually start doing that. Um, it might even be a bit too late, but because I'm already captured and my APA is quickly coming down. But as you can see, that orbital line as I'm pulling myself in this direction, that orbital line is starting to come around towards the base. I assume that's the base where the GL2 is at. And now I want to actually start probably climbing back out because um, I don't want to have to use any fuel, um, any more fuel than I have to for orbit circularization. But we will try to get as much base alignment as we can. I should have brought up base sync. Let me bring back in the air brake. Well, okay, so I'm not going to worry about the base alignment because um, I think Mars rotates fast enough that we can probably mm, I should get a bit more braking than this. I was going to start climbing back out, but Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to call it. I'm just going to leave it like it is. We're going to climb back out. Um, but I was going to say, um, yeah, if I, I if I thought about it sooner, I probably could have got completely in plane with the base. But uh, Mars uh, does rotate, so it may so we could just orbit a few days to get our base alignment better than better than what it is at the moment um, and if we get it perfectly lined up we may actually um, unless we plan on landing on the very next orbit yeah, and again we're going to have to use a fuel cheat or something because there's no way we're going to have enough hover to get down with 11.5% of main fuel remaining alright that's all I'm going to need the joystick for so let me set that aside for now and Turn off these. Rotation. And we can extend the radiator. And turn off the APU. So let's go back over to this view. And the next thing that we're going to want to do um, so we're captured by Mars, but we're not in a very good orbit. We're flinging pretty far out into space, which is fine, but then coming back around, we're going to crash. So let's make sure that we get that taken care of as our next priority. I would say that's the next most important thing, hopefully. So we're going to go out into space a bit. And 
Let's go ahead and go prograde. Let me. We've got a bit till we're gonna get there. Translation. So let's just use a bit of rotation so that we can help out the autopilot. Yeah, Apple Apsis in 150 seconds. Okay, so using a bit of rotation, we were able to get more on point with prograde. So now we'll go into prograde. And we don't want to circularize our orbit, so we're not going to use uh, burn time calculator. We're just going to bring up our PEA to, I don't know, 200 kilometers, 150, something like that. So we're getting pretty close to the high point of our orbit. Come out of time warp and add in a bit of main engine. And bringing up the other side of our orbit. Um, and because I don't know when I'm landing just yet, I haven't decided that, so uh, that sh should be high enough for Mars, I think. Um, it doesn't really matter, we're definitely not going to crash, so, so that's fine. Alright, so our target is going to be uh, Olympus, which should be here. All right, so now I just have to think for a moment. All right, let me bring up base sync now. And now we'll target, um, I was going to say Brighton Beach, but it's Olympus. And let's check our ship's resources. We should be fine. As far as, lock, as far as oxygen goes, yeah, we have 78 days. Fuel is the thing that uh, we're going to have to cheat on. Pretty sure. All right, so now I just have to, I have to think about what I want to do. So, I, okay, so I think, I think I want to go around to periapsis and bring down the high side of my orbit. Let, let's let's plan on doing that because uh, as we as we orbit Mars, the base is it, it's going to get. You know, this is where we're at at the moment, and it's going to get farther away. And then a few orbits from now, we're going to be 450 kilometers. Um, let's actually cycle through. So 385. I mean, eventually, I would imagine we'll pass right over it. Let's put our number of orbits out to 99. So yeah, in 17 orbits we're 36. That's pretty close for a bit for a base sync. So so we'll plan on we'll, pro we'll probably plan on that. We'll plan on the 30 this or the 17th orbit will be when we're going to land. So so for now let's go around to periapsis and hope that I remembered. Let me actually check my dynamic pressure as we. So right now we're fine. So we have we have just very little. All right, where's periapsis? Four hundred seconds out, and we want to lower the other side of our orbit. So we want to be retrograde. I probably should have gone for two hundred and two hundred, but yeah, we have some dynamic pressure here, but I don't think it's going to affect us. All right, just a hundred seconds out, and we'll just manually bring down the other side of our orbit. And uh, let's get a bit closer. Let's go ahead and start burning main engines, just with a little bit of main engine. Of course, come to think of it, this uh, bringing down the other side of our orbit is going to change base sinks results. It'll probably just speed up. I'm guessing it'll speed. Well, it'll either speed up or slow down how soon we get to that orbit where we are, um, you know, 36 kilometers out. So APA 900, 800, 700, 
six, five, four, three, two, and kill main. Translation. Maybe just a little bit more on the main. Um, we'll go with that. It's close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, let's look at uh, base sync one more time. And let's cycle through our orbits. So yeah, it slowed down how soon we would be at that point. But uh, 45 orbits is fine. We have uh, like a month or two of oxygen. Yeah, like two and a half months, so we're fine. Okay, so let's uh, let's just think about things for a moment, and then we'll end this part of the video. Uh, in this in this series, so that's our target base. Here's where we are. All right, we're definitely gonna, we're definitely going to need more fuel. So let me let me do a quick save now. So save and pause. Let me switch to the overlay. So I think that's going to wrap it up. And when we come back, we're going to use a fuel editor to give ourselves more fuel, because otherwise we're just going to crash into Mars. And um, I'm not even sure how I would have brought enough fuel with me to land on Mars, because. I, I needed one of the containers full of locks and the other one even if I had remembered to put it in that would have just ensured that I completed the the TMI burn the trans Martian injection burn and I'm I didn't I'm thinking we don't have enough fuel to hover down and land on the pad because we have two we have to do two things when we enter into the atmosphere uh, eventually we're gonna have to break before we get to before we get to Olympus and once we start breaking um, we're gonna have to have some hover to offset we'll figure it out in the next part